previously on Blues and Bullets. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. You should be rotting in jail. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Carlo Baccarini. Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Is that our man? We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're Osmond Berg, right? Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Calm down, Berg. You were going to meet up with him, right? It's going to be tonight. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. Come inside if you like. Strange tent for Christmas week. Here, I'm waiting. Don't be shy. Tell your fortune, young man. I don't think it'll be good, but go ahead. Oh, I see success at work. Very soon. Probably the last in a long time. That's enough for me. You just made my day. Hmm. In that case, I'd better not tell you how the affair with that married woman is going to go. What? How do you know? 
is better if I don't tell you. And that's all we're going to talk, for now. You may leave now. I feel someone is waiting for you. Whoa, that was intense. Everyone's so excited about the new waterfront. It'll attract the tourists, it'll bring new life to Santa Esperanza. But if we don't get Capone, he'll make sure that it will only bring more death. Hank Sorensen? Do I know you? I've heard a lot about you and your establishment. Oh, good I hope? The Tipsy Mermaid is famous for its hospitality, charm, and respect for the law. You've nothing to worry about. I have other business to attend to. If you need to wet your whistle while you take care of business, you know where to come. But make it quick. In less than ten minutes, this place will be crawling with customers who are a lot less discerning than yourself. Buy something, it better be something for Delphine or Claire. Merry Christmas, sir. Can I interest you in anything? One gingerbread man coming right up for your little boy or little girl. No, nothing like that. Well, yes, more or less. Merry Christmas! Anything catch your eye, sir? No thanks. How about enough today? Luck? They biting? I've been after this old bastard for months. A giant sea bass. Wicked as they come. Sharp as a razor. The spawn of Satan himself. But every day he comes a little closer to the hook. I'm gonna land that son of a bitch eventually. Why am I telling you this? I bet you don't know shit about fishing. You're right. I haven't fished since I was a kid. But if it's so enormous, are you sure you can land it? Screw you, Satan. Of course I can. The hard part is getting him to bite. And to do that, I need you to shut your goddamn mouth. Now beat it. Go screw yourself. Hey there. Here, for Claire. Thanks. 
Should I tell her it's from you? Nah, that's not necessary. Shall we walk? I hope someday we can walk arm in arm. Was it hard to get away? Not really. I told Martha I had to check out a tip-off. In fact, it's true. That's exactly what Jim told me. On Strawberry Avenue, right? I left him in charge. It's a routine check. I'm sure it's nothing. At the most, some kind of abandoned bootlegger still. O'Reilly and DiPietro are with him. Even Garrison joined them to stretch his legs and take a break from the leads in the accounting book. Are you certain there's no danger? Absolutely. You can always pick up some extra information, maybe a lead or two, but it's the dullest part of our work. Besides, I had to see you. These last months haven't been easy. We barely see each other. We're drifting apart and... I can't allow this to end badly. How long has it been since you gave me a present? Not for Claire, for me. This isn't right. If we go on, I'm gonna end up hating you. I, I think I already do, almost as much as I hate myself. Delphine. Goddamn fish! Before, I had you as a way of escaping from Jim. But since you began this crusade against alcohol, Against Capone. Damn you to hell, Satan! Ever since you dragged Jim into these untouchables of yours... Jim Dockers is the best cop in Santa Esperanza, and the most honest. You sent him out on a raid so you could see his wife, Elliot. How can you look him in the face after that? I'll tear out your liver, you unholy abomination! I know how to keep love and work separate, Delphine. When I'm with him, he only talks about you, and, and now you only talk about him? It was you who... You! You screwed everything up, can't you see that? I'll rip your scales out one by one, with my fucking teeth! That wasn't my intention, Delphine. I, I'm sorry. You don't have to be. There's nothing to be done. It's over, Elliot. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cut you up and just chop you in a little... Will you shut up? We're having a conversation. No, I'm not gonna shut up until I've landed that son of a bitch! Do you want a Christmas punch in the square? Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. When I cast the line, the hook got caught round the back in my pants. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just on the seam. You know where. Ripped it right open. <laughs> Tell me there was no one behind you. Well, of course there was. The girl I was trying to impress. And her father, and the rest of her family. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the scene. There I was, shorts on display. What can I get for the happy couple? Two glasses of Christmas punch, please. Coming right up. With or without alcohol. Did you say alcohol, Sorensen? You'll spend a year in jail for every bottle of liquor I find in your storeroom. Did I say alcohol? <laughs> Just my little Christmas joke. We don't serve liquor here, no siree. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. I think Jim suspects something. Yeah, when all's said and done, he is a cop. 
Elliot, we have to stop seeing each other. It won't be such a big change. <sighs> really, I think it's best if we break it off. Jim needs me, your priority is your work, and I don't see any other way. All I'm asking for is patience. I'm about to wipe out Capone. We got his accounting book. Garrison is sifting through it. As soon as he ties up a couple of loose ends, we can haul him in for tax evasion. Santa Esperanza will be free, and so will we. What if it takes time to tie up those loose ends? What's the difference? We agreed to carry on until Claire grew up, and that's still a long way off. Time's on our side, and then... And then what? If you put Capone away, you'll, you'll find another crusade? Another obsession? Another reason nobody can get close to you? What about your marriage? Why don't you give it a chance? Martha's parents are coming on Friday? They are. To take her back to Greenville. Oh, I, um, didn't know that. Ah, what do I care? Her loss. I don't know you anymore, Elliot. You really are untouchable. And I am Jim Docker's wife. Besides, if I want to study medicine, I'm gonna need time. I can't steal it from my family. I know, and I support you, but... Two glasses of Christmas punch for the happy couple. The fuzz really screwed up this time, huh? What do you mean? Can't you hear the sirens? On the radio, they're saying four cops got pumped full of lead. Not that I'm glad to hear it, of course. Where? On Strawberry Avenue, I think. No. No, no, no! Jim! Wait! What? I'll come with you. No. Oh my god. Jim! Looks like someone said something they shouldn't have. Whiskey. A bottle. Now. We don't serve alcohol here, sir. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. You took delivery of 12 cases on Wednesday night. Bring me a bottle or I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your sorry little life. One bottle of whiskey coming right up. Garrison. O'Reilly. De Pietro. Dockers. Garrison. O'Reilly. De Pietro. <laughs> <laughs> 